hello everyone in this video i'll show you roof truss problem i mean uh, to determine the basic wind pressure we need to calculate here so the given problem is uh, the roof shed is constructing in lucknow for an industry and the size of the shed is 24 meters by 40 meters the height of the building is 12 meters so we need to design uh, determine the basic wind pressure solution is from uh, wind zone map of the country uh, by referring is 875 part 3 in that code book the basic wind speed uh, in Lucknow is that uh, VB value is 47 meters per second that is available in page number 23 in is 875 here we are uh, considering the risk coefficient that is K1 uh, from table 1 uh, class 5.3.1 uh, the code specifies that K1 value is 1 because of uh, for all general buildings with probable design life of structure 50 years the co risk coefficient value is 1 which is available in IS875 like that next we need to calculate K2 K2 is nothing but terrain factor so in that and the, here uh, the shed is an industrial area it may be considered belonging to category 3 so this category 3 is nothing but uh, terrain category so category 1 category 2 category 3 like that they are divided so here the industrial area the, it belongs to category 3 so dimension is 40 meters it is given in question and next one it belongs to class b structure in that uh, the structure belongs to class b so for category 3 and class b building the code is specifying that the k2 value that is if h equal to 10 meters that is the height of that uh, building is 10 meters the k2 value is 0.88 if uh, h is 15 meters the k2 value is 0.94 okay but here uh, our height of the building is 12 meters okay so for 12 meters we need to do interpolation that is nothing but 12 is in between 10 and 15 so if h equal to 12 meters we need to find out the k2 value okay that is terrain factor so that is nothing but here uh, have done the interpolation k2 value 0 0.88 plus 0 0.94 minus uh, 0.88 into 12 minus 10 by 15 minus 10 so i got k2 value as 0 0.904 like that by using interpolation we have done this and next one is we need to find out topography factor that is k3 so here our area is Lucknow. The ground near uh, shed may be assumed as plain. Here we are assuming that uh, the shed is the ground area of the shed is plain. So K3 formula is 1 plus C. So C is nothing but Z by L. So Z is effective height of the feature or L is upwind slope. Here we are assuming that uh, this is uh, the ground is plain. So the slope value is 0. There is no slope. So that's why I'm considering as C as 0. So 1 plus 0 that is 1 and next one is design wind speed so design wind speed formula vz equal to k1 k2 k3 into vb this value uh, this formula is uh, valuable in is 875 so i substitute all the values i got vb value after that we need to find out uh, finally basic wind pressure so basic wind pressure formula is available in 0.6 v, uh, vz square that is P, pz so 0.6 into vz value is 42.48 so this formula is available in page number 31 is 875 okay pz equal to 1.083 kilonewton per meter square so this 0.6 is nothing but uh, the coefficient which is depends on uh, atmospheric conditions i mean uh, by correspondence of atmospheric conditions we choose this 0.6 value which is specified in is 875 so like that we are going to design this uh, basic wind pressure in the next video, I will show you the design truss, how to design a truss by using purlins and other requirements. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.